All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can automate your trade with TradingView and TradeAvail. This will be the easiest way possible you can automate your trade with. The code and the installation guide will be in the description below. So if you pay attention, you will be able to create a bot like me. Well, not a bot like me. I'm not a bot. A bot like this with this quick guide. All right, so this is the blog post that I posted and uh, it has two sets of code. One would be for the TradingView and the other one would be for the uh, Nature code. So to jump right into it, uh, let's just copy the TradingView view code and go, going down on the define script editor you can choose like a create a new one and indicator and i'm just going to paste the code here and i'm going to remove any things that's already on my screen and i'm going to click add to chart here you can see this is the signal part and which take care of all the computation that's been happening so by the way this is the machine learning uh, moving average created by the locks algo and uh, be sure to check out the those guys really make a phenomenal job on you know like creating different indicators and open sourcing it but anyway so right now we are in the discussion for the automation so for the automation code the other part would be the nice code so this is the actual bread and butter butter for the automation so we copy this and we're going to open the reaction code writer i'm going to load in i'm going to copy this default station and i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to name it uh, machine learning moving average mlma so this would where i would be writing my code on so to write the code on i will be using the um, reaction code writer load that file delete whatever it is in and and paste the and paste this uh, code so code is pasted I see a success now I'm gonna open the night shark I'm logging in and I'm gonna load in the MLMA so I'm gonna delete all the area so you can just click delete button or if you're on Mac just like how I am here uh, you can just uh, press like a function plus delete um, so I'm gonna draw the area one here and let's go to our replay trading and let's go to a bar maybe somewhere here so I'm gonna fix the chart I don't know why it looks so ugly okay and I'm gonna let it run from here and so the points part so you can see on the setup on the bottom so area would be over the signal area area point dot a would be on a buy point dot b on a, be on a sell and plum point at c is just some arbitrary point so one thing i need to make sure is you see here the way it's been drawn so we just want to perfectly cover this none part we don't want to overdraw it we don't want to like underdraw it or miss some characters we need to be really specific that's where we get the plain input for the nice shock so that it can do the accurate job on the automation and then i'm gonna click a uh, point set the point dot a would as a buy i'm gonna set point dot b as a sell and i'll just put some blank space here so i'm gonna let the run run the night shark let's see what's going on so you can see accurately here you see the none so it's following so that means it's clearly reading the none part here um so i'm gonna run the replay and now you can see whenever we see a buy signal um it's gonna go ahead and press the buy and then when the short signal comes in uh, it's gonna close out that position and then also it simultaneously enters the short position so we are going both direction long and short in this scenario So play, pay a close attention to this non-signal part and then how it enters the enters and exits and shorts the position as the cor corresponding signals comes in. So there we have a sell signal, so that would be a short. So by the way, if you are um, worried about like a repainting strategies or like a repainting indicator, uh, you can also usually, you know, like get the telltale sign on the uh, replay mode too. So you can actually like stress test it and how it actually performs in the real time. let this monitor and then I think there should be a buy signal comes in so in that period uh, it should close out the this short and then enter the buy at that point So there you see that there was a two entry uh, too long here. So one was to close out the buy. Obviously we could use flatten, you know, but um, I just chose to use the buy, but uh, that's not a big deal. Instead of pressing on buy, you can just press on flatten, which most people are familiar with. And I think that kind of also mitigate the risk. Well, yeah, just for the sake of the demo, I'm just using the buy to close out the short position, but we can definitely opt out for the flatten.
All right, so I think you guys kind of got the gist of like how this automation is running. Obviously, this is like a very simple script. Now, for the Night Shark, obviously we can make out, uh, you know, like a more advanced feature, like, um, you know, like which can constantly also monitor this PNL. And also you can have like a trailing stop on top of the daily PNL. So that, um, you know, like let's say after a certain high, if it starts dipping, if it starts losing out on your um, trade, like a like a daily PNL, you can pro you can also um, so here's the one thing so there was an, another mechanism you see another buy signal but it did not actually double down in that point because uh, you know like we the way the night shark code was uh, set up was like even if you, there's a buy signal you know like but we are already in the position we're not supposed to close it and it, it really avoids the double down so for the which I configured for my case And um, so I'm gonna stop this for now and let's close out this position. Mm, right now on which one? Uh, this cell? Okay. But I'm gonna show you how you can actually have this on the trading view and actually place the order on the trade of it, right? So that is the main thing. So let's just go here. So I'm gonna drag this um, window and then if you snap it to the top, um, let's just minimize the other window. If you snap it to the top, you can see you can have these things side by side, right? And on the other side, I'm gonna open the. <coughs> trade away so instead of clicking on these buy and sell we're gonna now we will be placing the order on the other buy and the buy and sell button for the trade away so i'm gonna close out this i'm gonna clean this setup and let me clear on this too oh i think right now the market is closed um so we're probably not gonna be able to get into the some buy to sell but but the point is so for the trade away setup the way it was clicking on the buy and sell now you're gonna edit the area to here this but long and then you can just have the point dot a to buy market point dot b to sell market and point dot c to you know like some here and now what's actually doing is nightshark is fetching the signal from here from the trading view which is on the half side on this side of the screen and it will be placing the order on these so which is kind of like equivalent of like you know like having the signal and then that is how uh, the nightshark actually enables the cross platform functionality so if you have any question you know like just post it on the comment down below i'll try my best to answer as much of the whatever question you have but um so yeah this is just like a simple use case of you how you can you know leverage nightshark and have this cross-platform automation and uh, which even works for the you know like in some of the trade like the problems or whichever is using the trade of it or instead of the trade of it you can have it on the like a thinkorswim or even even for the like a you know like a crack in like a, some cryptocurrency market or something so which primarily going to leverage the trading view as the charting platform and then you can place the order in whatever you like so let me know if there's any other better ideas that you have and what like any better goddess that we can put in but uh for this video i think um, i rest my case happy trades take care bye